So somatosensory pathways, what does this mean? This means pathways from the general senses, those receptors we just talked about that are in the skin as well as some muscles as well to the brain. And there's two pathways I want you to know about. Your book does much more detail. Um, so two pathways. One is the spinothalamic. What does this mean? Well, all the somatosensory pathways are going to have the word spino first. This means it's going from the periphery up to the brain, spino brain. So spinothalamic um, is one example. Spinocerebellar is another. This is in contrast to something like the corticospinal, right, or reticulospinal that has that spino second. So the first neuron in this pathway is going to be synapsing into the spinal cord before it goes on from there. So the spinothalamic is going to go from the spinal cord to the thalamus, then on to the primary sensory cortex. So let's look at this. So all of these, right, we're talking about sensory. So we're going from the periphery to the brain. And we're going to have um, some neurons allowing us to do that. So first of all, here is the spinothalamic. There is a sensory receptor cell. This would be, for example, a mechanoreceptor. Um, for example, a lamellar corpuscle that is going to carry information. This is, would be a unipolar cell that would carry information to the spinal cord. The spinal cord, this would, be the, so this would be the first neuron here. This would be the second neuron that's then carrying the information. What is this thing? This is gonna be a column, part of a column. It's also gonna be a tract, um, the spinothalamic tract, in fact. And then this is gonna synapse in the thalamus. Thalamus is a relay station, which is going to relay the information. This is our third neuron to the primary somatosensory cortex. This is where perception happens. So if you're sleeping and someone touches you, you don't perceive it, right? That's because your awesome thalamus doesn't transmit the signal on because you're sleeping. So there's no, you, unless you wake up, you're not perceiving that. This is that part of that relay station. This is going to be a pathway for pain so we're gonna have nociceptors, free nerve endings would also be types of sensory receptor cells. These sensory receptor cells could detect pain, temperature, pressure, light touch. So if you have someone stabs you with a needle while you're sleeping, you would perceive that. Your thalamus would send that signal to you probably and wake you up. So. Um, this complete pathway involves conscious perception. This is what that looks like in terms of more complexity. Um, there are actually two different sub tracks to the spinothalamic tract, so uh, anterior and a lateral. Um, these actually carry different signals. You don't need to distinguish those um, for, for this class. One thing I like about this picture, though, is it shows that contralateral projections, right? So information from the right side of the body is going to travel across the spinal cord, contralateral, and it's going to travel up to the, so this is the right side here. This is going to travel to the left primary somatosensory cortex. Same thing with the lateral spinal cord, um, spinothalamic tract. Anterior and, anterior and lateral refer to where the tracks are in the spinal cord. I also like this picture. It breaks down these different neurons that I told you about. So the first order neuron, that first neuron, the second order neuron, and the third order neuron up here, just like I showed you in the other diagram. And again, these sensations here, these the stimuli are going to be stimulating what 
what kinds of sensory receptors? Well, tactile discs, tactile corpuscles, lamellar corpuscles, and free nerve endings. You know that because of the stimuli that are being transmitted.